we are asked to approximate the principal root, or the positive square root of 45, to the hundredths place. And I'm assuming they don't want us to use a calculator, because that, that would be too easy. So let's see if we can approximate this just with our, with our pen and paper right over here. So square root of 45. So the square root of 45, or the principal root of 45, 45 is not a, 45 is not a perfect square. It's definitely not a perfect square, but we know, let's see, what are the perfect squares around it? We know that it is going to be less than, the next perfect square above 45 is going to be, let's see, it'll be 49, because that is 7 times 7. So it's less than the square root of 49, and it's greater than the square root of 36. And so the square root of 36, the principal root of 36, I should say, is 6, and the principal root the principal root of 49 is 7. So this value right over here is going to be between, it's going to be between 6 and 7. And if we look at it, it's only 4 away from 49, and it's 9 away, it's 9 away from 36. So it looks like, so the difference between 36 and 49 is, it's, it's 13, so it's a total 13 gap between the, uh, 6 squared and 7 squared, and this is this is 9 of the way through it. So just as a kind of approximation, maybe, and it's not going to work out perfectly because we're squaring it. This isn't a linear relationship. But it's going to be closer to 7 than it's going to be to 6. And it, at least the square, of, or the 45, is 9 thirteenths of the way. So we could try. We could try, let's see, it looks like a, well, that's about, that's about 2 thirds of the way. So let's try 6.7. Let's try 6.7 as a guess, just based on 0.7 is about 2 thirds. It looks like about the same. Actually, we could calculate this right here if we want. Actually, let's do that just for fun. So 9 thirteenths as a decimal is going to be what? It's going to be 13 into. 9, we're going to put some decimal places right over here. 13 doesn't go into 9, but 13 does go into 90. And it goes into 90. Let's see, does it go into it 7 times? It goes into it 6 times. So 6 times 3 is 6 times three is 18. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And then you subtract, you get 12. So it went into it almost exactly 7 times. So this value right here is almost 0.7. And so if you say, how many times does 13 go into 120? It looks like it's like 9 times. Yeah, it would go into it 9 times. 9 times. 9 times 3, get rid of this. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 2 is 11. You have a remainder of 3. So you get it's about 0.69. So 6, it's, so 6 6.7 would be a pretty good guess. This is 0.69 of the way between 36 and 49. So let's go roughly 0.69 of the way between 6 and 7. So this is, once again, just to approximate. It's not necessarily going to give us the exact answer. We have to use that as to make a, a good initial guess and then see how well it works. So let's try, let's try 6.7. Let's try 6.7. And the really way to try it is to square 6.7. So 6.7, 6 6.7 times 6. Point, maybe I'll write the multiplication symbol there. 6.7 times 6.7. So we have 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 4 is 46. Put a 0 now, because we're now in, we're now moved up. Uh, to, we've moved uh, a space to the left. So now we have 6 times 7 is 42. Carry the 4. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 4 is 40. And so 9 plus 0 is 9. 6 plus 2 is 8. 4 plus 0 is 4. And then we have a 4 right over here. And we have two total numbers behind the decimal point, 1, 2. So this gives us 44.89. So 6.7 gets us pretty close, but we're still not we're still not probably right to the hundred. Well, we're definitely not to the hundredths place. This is we've only gone to the tenths place right over here. So if we want to get to 45, this is this 6.7 squared is still less than the square root, or I should say 6.7 squared is still less than 45, or 6.7 is still less than the square root of 45. So let's try 6.71. So let's try 6. Point, let me do this in a new color. I'll do 6.71 in pink. So let's try 6.71. Increase it a little bit. See if we can go from 44.89 to 45, because this is really close already. And if this is, well, let's just try it out. 6.71. So once again, we have to do some 
arithmetic by hand. We are assuming that they don't want us to use a calculator here. So if 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 6 is 6. Put a 0 here. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 4 is 46. And then we have two zeros here. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 7 is 42. We have this new 4 here. 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Plus 4 is 40. Plus 40. So if you really, well, it's interesting to think what we got incrementally by adding that that 100th over there. Because this part over here, well, we'll see actually when we add all of this up. You get a 1. 7 plus 7 is 14. 1 plus 6 plus 9 is 16. Plus 6 is 22. 2 plus 6 plus 2 is 10. And then 1 plus 4 is 5. And then we bring down the 4. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers behind the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4. So when we squared 6.71, 6.71 squared is equal to 45.0241. So 6.71 is a little bit greater. So let, let's, let me make it clear now. We know that 6.7 is less than the square root of 45. And we know that that is less than 6.71. Because when we square this, we get something a little bit over the square root of 45. But the key here is, is when we square this, so 6.7 squared, so let's 6.7 squared got us 44.89, which is 11 hundredths, 11 hundredths away from 45. So this is, and then if we look at 6.71 squared, we're only 2.4 hundredths above 45. So this right here is closer to the square root of 45. So if we approximate to the hundredths place, definitely want to go with 6.71.